everybody. Welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing a medication known as Lovastatin. Its brand name is Mevacor. Now, before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Lovastatin is a cholesterol-lowering agent that inhibits HMG-CoA reductase. It prevents the conversion of HMG-CoA to mevalonate, which is the rate-limiting step of cholesterol biosynthesis. In terms of indications for use, lovastatin is indicated to be used in the treatment of hypercholesterolemia. It can be used to treat familial hypercholesterolemia, or high cholesterol. And we also see it used in the treatment of coronary atherosclerosis. Now before somebody was to use lovastatin, there are some contraindications that they must clear, as well as some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. So this medication cannot be used with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. If a patient had a hypersensitivity to lovastatin or any other component of the product, they would not be able to use this medication. Patients with active liver disease cannot use lovastatin. It can't be used in pregnancy or in mothers who are nursing. And it also can't be used in patients who have unexplained persistent serum transaminase elevations. Now in terms of precautions, it should be noted that this medication should not be used with substantial alcohol use. Patients with ALS should be made aware that the rate of functional decline may increase with statin use. Consumption of grapefruit juice should be avoided with the use of lovastatin. The elderly population will be at an increased risk of myopathy or rhabdomyolysis. And patients would also be at an increased risk of myopathies if they were using high doses of lovastatin. This medication should be used cautiously in patients who have a history of liver disease. And patients should be told that liver dysfunction has been reported with the use of this medication. Liver failure, including fatalities, have also been reported. And lastly, dose adjustments may be necessary if a patient has a creatinine clearance less than 30 milliliters per minute. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindications and made aware of the precautions and warnings and they start to use lovastatin, they can expect to receive their dose orally. So if somebody is using this medication to treat high cholesterol, they would typically start off with 20 milligrams taken once daily with the evening meal. If they're looking for a reduction of cholesterol less than 20%, they may choose to start off with 10 milligrams. The usual maintenance dose is between 10 and 80 milligrams taken once or sometimes twice daily. During the course of therapy, if the medication has to be adjusted in terms of its dose, we would typically use four-week intervals for dose increases. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using lovastatin, so I'll go over some of those here now. Abdominal pain can happen up to 2.5% of the time, and up to 3.5% of patients may experience constipation. Joint pain can happen between 5 and 6% of the time. Its more rare but serious side effects would be an increase in liver enzymes, liver failure, rhabdomyolysis, or a rupture of a tendon. That's all we're going to talk about today with lovastatin or Mevacor. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.